Now we have one question. What is the difference between using save or save as? For example, if we have a new document, okay, this is a document, and this document is not saved yet. You can see it has no name in it. So if we go to file and click on save or save as, it is the same. It doesn't make since for example if i click on save as or if i click on save the same results however if the file already saved like this one we already save it with this name word task now if we like to save it with another name or if we like to save it in another location in another folder now it makes sense because if we click on save it will save it with the same name on the same location but if we like to save it as I said before with another name now we should click on save as and then decide where we are going to save it for example again and I want to save it for inside this folder but with another name let us say I want to save it with word task 1 so save now we can see we got another file with a new name or task one so this is the difference between sa using save and save as modifying page layout if we like to change the orientation of the page from portrait to landscape we can do that by clicking on page layout ribbon and then choose orientation and then choose one of these two options portrait or landscape let us try that here okay so this is the file let me just make the page a little bit small to see it very clear so i want to change the orientation i'll go to page layout then orientation now it is portrait i can change it to landscape now it is landscape but if i want to go back to orientation or portrait orientation i can click on portrait another thing we can do it on this ribbon is changing the page size sometimes we like to change the size of the page so to do that i'll go to page layout for example again and we click here on size okay so we can choose which size we prefer for example if i want to switch it to a4 i can click on a4 Another thing also we can do it from the same ribbon page layout is changing the margin, the margin of the of the page. Okay, so again just click on page layout and go to margin and then we can see we have many options to choose. Let us see it again in Word. So first what is a margin? The margin is this white space between the edge of the page and the text for example this is the left margin this is the right margin this is the top margin and this is the bottom margin so if you go to page layout and click on margins you can change any margin from here now it is on normal see what happened if I click on narrow you can see the margin become narrow if I choose, for example, again margin wide, see what happened. Let us bring it back to normal. Another option, if we like to customize it, we can go down to the last option here, customize margin. And from here, you can enter the value that you want on each one of these margin for example if i want to change the margin of the top now it is 2.54 i can just trace it like that or maybe i can write it directly 
let me make it six centimeters okay and see what happened now the margin become big so we have white spaces more than if we compare it with the with the bottom okay so this is how can we adjust the margin now let me just get it back as it is before 2.54 okay borders and shading microsoft word give us the option to add borders uh, around a document or a paragraph and as well applying some shading with uh, different colors to do that just go to home tab or home yes home tab in uh, uh, in that ribbon okay let me go here okay if i want to add a border around this paragraph for example so first i'm going to select the paragraph like this and then go to home and go to this command you can see just border click here i can choose one of these options let me choose outside border click on it so it is added again if i want to add a border around this heading again i'll go to this option i will choose again outside border like this okay let me just undo this and keep this one now if i want to change this border or i mean i want to change how it looks for example again i will highlight this go here i can go down until the last option border and shading then from here i can change the styles of the border okay for example if i just go down like this i can make it with double border you can see the preview here or i can make it triple lines or something like this okay or we can change even the color of the border if i want to make it like red color or if i want to increase or decrease the width the width of the can make it like this okay click on okay see now the style and the color and the width of the border has been changed another thing we can do it here is adding a shading if we try to do that here in paragraph 2 just first select the paragraph go again to the same command and go down border and shading now i will click on shading tab not the border tab the shading tab and from here i can choose a color for example i will choose this color okay that's it to apply shading we can use also this icon for example if i want to add a shading for paragraph 3 I can also use this one with the same effect for example just I want to add this uh, green color so I can also so shading can be done from here or by going here and clicking here and going to shading so you can do it from here or from here 